Guys, say hello to my little friend. Welcome to another mukbang video, guys. Got a whole rotisserie chicken here. You know, let's roll the damn thing. What's up, guys? Hope everyone's having a great day, great week. Today, we are all lions. Took this bad boy from Walmart. Yo, if you want a super cheap meal, and if you're not me, a meal that'll last, or meals throughout the week, one meal for me, go to Walmart, pick up one of these chickens for five bucks. Yo, amazing deal. All right. Speaking of that movie reference in the beginning, Scarface, one of my favorite movies of all time. Shout out to Al Pacino. Love you, brother. I'm kind of bummed that Al hasn't been as active you know, when he was a bit younger. Another great Al Pacino movie, um, the one for which he won an Oscar, Scent of a Woman. Great drama, if you guys want to check that out. Might be a little bit out of your guys' wheelhouse. Some of you guys might be too young. Heck, I'm willing to bet that that movie came out before most of you guys were born. So, but check out Son of a Woman. And kind of a good chick flick if you want to impress the ladies. Which gets me to the topic of today, right? And, um, Which is women, right? A lot of you guys are out there probably single dudes asking, how can I improve my chances of picking up women or getting girls to talk to me? All right, <laughs> first of all, let me tell you, okay. There are two types of women. Oh, sorry, let me go back. There are women who look for two different things, okay? So let's categorize that. So there are women who, just a caveat, I'm just speaking from my personal experience, okay? I'm not speaking for other dudes or all the women out there, but just from what I've experienced, I can give you the following advice, all right? So two categories of women, The first is women who aren't looking for a serious relationship, who just wants to enjoy herself and have fun. So she's not willing to settle down, right? Then on the other hand, you have women who are obviously looking to settle down. They want something more long-term. They want something that'll progress into an engagement or a marriage or a family, okay? So guys, before you even ask, how do I get a girl to like me? You have to ask yourself, what am I looking for? What are you looking for? Are you looking for a long-term relationship? What point are you at in your life? Or are you looking to just have fun, mess around, have female companionship, right? So ask yourself that first so you're not wasting your own time and the woman's time, okay? That's one thigh down. All right. And after you figure that out, then obviously you know what to look for in a woman, right? 
a girl who sees herself getting married next year is not gonna mess with an F boy. You know what I mean? And in my experience, the ones who are looking to settle down are usually in their mid to late 20s. Whereas the ones who are all about having fun, they're a little bit younger, maybe they're in college or just right out of college and they're wanting to travel more, advance their career more, and aren't really looking to settle down and have a family just yet, okay? So you gotta ask yourself, are you an F boy? You know, or are you a man who sees himself as a dad in a couple years? You know what I mean? It doesn't matter if you're one or the other. It just depends on where you're at in life. As far as specific tips on what to do to get girls to like you after you've possibly met someone you're interested in, this sounds cliche AF, but hey man, truly just be yourself. If someone doesn't like you for who you are, you don't have to mess with them, all right? Like I said in my other videos, do you, it's their loss. If they don't wanna be in your life, okay? Yo, the chicken butt is the best part. Straight up, man. We're gonna turn this thing into a carcass. So, rule number one, above all else, don't change who you are for someone else. Because at the end of the day, let's say, you start hanging out with someone or it turns into a long-term relationship and you put up a front, you put up a facade from the get-go, no matter how hard you try to hide it, man, <clears throat> that's gonna come out, I promise you. There are gonna be moments when your <clears throat> guard is down and they're gonna see you for who you are. So don't change. Don't try to be someone different. Be who you are when you're chilling at home by yourself and no one's watching, okay? Don't fake it. People don't like phonies. People would rather you be upfront with them from the get-go versus progressing on with you down the line and then finding out, man, this guy's a total phony. Okay. Rule number two. If you ask a girl whether or not looks matter and she says no, that's not true. <laughs> Remember when uh, Obama was like, that's not true. Yeah, that's not true. Because here's how looks work, okay? Looks get you in the door. Looks get you noticed, okay? But who you are, <clears throat> see rule number one, your personality, your vibe, your charisma. You as an actual person, that is either going to draw people in towards you or that's going to push you away from them, okay? So that being said, man, All right, not everyone's gonna look like Brad Pitt. Not everyone's gonna look like a fitness model, okay? But what you can do 
is you can do things to enhance your appearance, right? Like if you look good with a beard, freaking grow a beard. Some women love beards, okay? <laughs> so if it works with your facial structure, grow a beard. If you have a super baby face, grow a beard. You know? If your hair is super long and, you know, super unkempt and scraggly, go to sport clips. Go to great clips. Get a haircut for 10, 15 bucks. I'm telling you, man, a good haircut <clears throat> will do wonders. All right. Hygiene. Keep good hygiene, man. I mean, this stuff should kind of go without saying, right? <clears throat> Guys, come on. Deodorant. Don't overdo it with that Axe body spray, though. You know, that's a fine line. Don't douse that cologne on like you're using a fire extinguisher, all right? You're not on fire, bro. But a little bit of cologne for an occasion is like a really nice touch, okay? If you're, you know, overweight or not necessarily the best shape, maybe you're a skinny, a super skinny guy. You know, you can take steps to change that. Hit the gym. You know, if you're a little overweight, do more cardio. Lose some fat. I think people, not just women, are gonna be more receptive to having interactions with you if, you know, you're in decent shape. And it kind of sucks, but that's just the nature of, <clears throat> you know, how, how people's minds work, I think. Okay, so that's two rules. Rule three, be nice. Okay, now you may hear of all this BS, people saying, oh, nice guys always finish last. All you nice guys out there are thinking, oh man, yeah, that's me. I was always nice to this girl, but she always chose like the chach or the douchebag over me. Why? Go back to what I was saying originally. Is that girl looking to get settled down or is she just looking to mess around and have fun and be with more fun guys who are more open and not as uptight? You know what I mean? Nice guys actually always, always get the girl because <clears throat> no matter how much fun that douchebag or that chach is going to provide her <clears throat> in the interim, at the end of the day, she's going to see that he's not going to treat her well in the long run. And even the girls who are just looking to have fun, not have a necessarily true relationship, they're not going to stick around to being treated like bull crap, okay? Just people in general. You don't wanna be treated badly. I don't wanna be treated badly. You know what I mean? So. As long as you're genuinely nice to her or to anybody they're gonna to wanna to keep you around. Now, whether or not they're gonna want the same thing you want is a different matter. Maybe they just keep you around as a friend. But hey, I'd rather have a friend than no one at all, you know what I mean? So rule number three, be nice, play nice. At the end of the day, that's gonna shine through. Then you're trying to put up this fake alpha persona, which she's gonna see through right away.
All right, so that's three rolls so far. Number four. Don't be needy. I think in general, if you're overly needy, even if you have a friend, for example, who's always up in your business and can never be alone and always wants to hang out, even that's gonna get tiring after a while. Don't you agree? So imagine you're trying to talk to a woman and you're always up in her business, not letting her do her own thing, she's gonna feel what? Smothered, right? And believe it or not, it's kind of funny how this works, but in my experience, the more you kind of lay off and make yourself scarce, make yourself a more precious commodity, simple economics, guys. As supply goes up, demand goes down. Okay? So after you've piqued your interest, by doing steps one, two, and three, you have to be patient. Give it time, okay? Don't text her every waking minute of every day, asking to hang out, forcing conversations, continuing text conversations, That should just be ended, all right? Side point, you don't have to keep a conversation going just to make yourself feel better. What I mean by that is, if you get a text from her that may not necessarily warrant a response, don't send one. Don't send a response just to send a response. All right, then she's going to be like, uh, I don't know what to do with this. And then the conversation is probably going to die anyway. And then it's going to be awkward for both parties. Okay. So be patient, give her space. Show her that you can be alone and that you're confident enough in yourself to be always needing to be around her. Okay? So, too long didn't read. Have confidence in yourself. Exude that belief that you're the man, all right? <laughs> that you got this, right? That you're the leader of the pack, you're the leader of the tribe. Now, no one can read each other's minds, all right? And for sure, no one can read a woman's mind. <clears throat> you guys seen that old school movie, What Women Want by Mel Gibson? When he like somehow inherits a superpower to read every woman's mind, like whatever she's thinking, like any woman that like he passed on the street, he can just automatically read her mind. I mean, obviously that'd make it a lot easier for I think both men and women in, re in relationships. But speaking to the fellas here, We ain't got that, so <laughs> we gotta do the best of what we got, okay? 
All right. So it's four good rolls to stick with. The last, most important one, man, is go for it. I don't care if you think that she's a model, she's a 12 and you're a negative five. Dude, how are you gonna know if you're not even gonna talk to her? You can't even do steps one through four if you don't start that initial interaction, okay? And guys, when you do it, don't be all awkward and weird about it. Have a normal conversation. Go up to her, say hi. Ask her how her day is going. Don't use stupid, ridiculous, gross Tinder pickup lines, okay? I'm telling you, that ish does not, that does not work. Girls hate that, okay? Same thing applies for online dating. Guys, if you're on these online dating apps, stop sending creepy messages to women. They don't like it. And please, this goes without saying, don't send unsolicited DPs, okay? Because that's just harassment, <laughs> all right? But seriously, if you see someone in whom you're interested, go up to them, approach them, okay? Because if you don't do that, you're not even gonna have a chance. I get it. It's hard talking to someone you like. It's hard thinking about what if she turns me down? What if she rejects me? I'm telling you, man, if you let one person, one woman, one guy, whatever, if you let one no hold you back from going for whatever that is, you're not gonna get very far in life, okay? And relationships is a prime example, right? Look around at all, you know, people you know who are married who are in relationships. How do you think that got started? How do you think those got started? Someone, either the man or the woman had to approach the other and were like, hey, what's up? How are you? They struck up some kind of conversation and they found each other attractive, emotionally and physically, it vibed, right? It all starts somewhere, guys. I'm telling you, I was the shyest dude growing up, okay? I didn't get my first kiss until I was 21 years old. Okay, I almost had my first drink before I got my first kiss, okay? I know a lot of you guys are out there laughing and be like, oh, like all you players in high school and whatnot. But I was a super shy dude growing up, you know? All these things are things I've learned over the years from personal experience I'm trying to share with y'all so you can avoid some of the pitfalls that I had. Now, I'm not saying I'm some kind of love guru. I mean, far from it. <clears throat> I'm just trying to share my uh, opinions on this topic. And some of the knowledge I've acquired over the years, you know?
I didn't lose my virginity until I was almost 23. So dudes out there who are down and out, feeling bad about yourself, look at me, man. There's hope. <laughs> There's hope. All right. Instead of getting down about yourself, no matter what, don't get down on yourself because of someone else, whether that be a guy or a girl, your boss, whatever. So similarly to group or rule five, I guess this is rule 5A. Don't be afraid to fail. All right. I think one of the crappiest feelings that you can feel as a human being is being rejected. I think that's why a lot of guys are afraid to go up and approach that person they like. Because I know it's going to hurt. It's going to sting. You have to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. That one girl who says no, that's one person out of the thousands and thousands of thousands of people you're going to meet in your lifetime. You know what I mean? And who knows? Maybe she's a shy one. Maybe she's waiting for you to make the move. And that's the thing. Ladies, too. Ladies out there, hear me out, please. If y'all are interested in a guy, please be more direct about that. We can't read your mind. We are not Mel Gibson and what women want. <laughs> Give us just like a little hint sometimes, you know, like a, like a little hint, like a baby hint. That would help us out a lot sometimes, you know? That make it a little bit easier for us to approach you and go for it. I mean, still to this day, I like to think I'm still a fairly shy person. And the last girl I liked, It's hard for me to approach her, but hey man, I just sucked it up. Do one of those, take a deep breath, give yourself a freaking pep talk. You got this, man. Go up to her, talk to her. So I guess this is rule five B is to learn to let go. Learn to let stuff go, man. Don't hold on to stuff. If she says no, that's nothing personal. Maybe you're just not her type, you know? Maybe what you're looking for and what she's looking for, they're not in concordance with each other at this point in time. There are a lot of reasons why people say, No, when you ask them out, for example, or if you show interest and they back away, okay? That's why I learned this, like, you can't make everyone happy, so stop trying to. Just because someone doesn't want to go out with you, 
Doesn't mean there's something intrinsically wrong with you at all. No. You the bomb, boss. That goes for you ladies too, man. If a dude's turn you down, his loss. Guys, if a girl turns you down, her loss. Everyone's got so much to freaking offer to this world, okay? Don't let the words of one naysayer make you question yourself, make you question your self-confidence. Hell no. Nah. Hell to the nah. With all that being said, man, I get it. Relationships are tough. <laughs> I've had a lot of failed ones, but it's a whole nother video, all right? And from my relationship experience, gotta take the good with the bad. You know, all sunshine and rainbows, rose garden and water lilies. Takes a lot of work. And uh, so before you're ready to commit yourself to a relationship, I'm speaking to you those out there who are deciding whether or not you should take that next step with someone. Think about, are you willing to make the kind of sacrifices that next level of your relationship takes, whether that's marriage, engagement, we're going from something casual to an actual relationship. Are you ready for that next step? Are you ready for more time investment? Are you ready for more emotional commitment? And if you're not, man, best let the other party know. <laughs> it's gonna save you a lot of headache, a lot of heartache, and a lot of wasted time. But I'll do a video in the future. Where I share some of my I guess relationship mishaps. Slash crazy ex-girlfriend stories. So be on the lookout for that sometime in the future. Hopefully this was useful to some of y'all out there. I know I spoke mainly to the dudes in this video, but ladies too. You can apply the same five, I guess it would be seven, including rules five, uh, five A and five B, that'd be seven. You can apply these things. If you have a guy in mind who you're interested in too, okay? But, Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate all the love and support you guys have been giving me. We're just getting started, baby. I did a magic trick. Made a whole chicken disappear. It's kind of like that scene in the, um, the Dark Knight. You know the joke where he just kind of strolls in the room and all those big crime bosses at the table.
they're like, who's this joker? And then he's like, I'm gonna show you a magic trick. I'm gonna make this pencil disappear. And then one of Gamble's like henchman walks up to him and he just, boom, ta-da. Respect you guys, as always. Hope you guys <clears throat> Man, kind of choking over here. <clears throat> There's a lot of chicken. <laughs> Sounds weird. Hope you guys are out there slaying, being boss men, being boss ladies. Have fun. No matter what you do, man. No matter what stresses are getting you down right now. More than likely, what you're making it out to be in your head is worse than the actual thing. Life is too short to stress yourself out, especially in relationships, in talking to the opposite sex. Like Jay-Z said, hope for the best but expecting the floor of the worst. Are you gonna drop the ball or not? Let us die young or let us live forever. We don't have the power, but we never say never. Sitting in the sand pit, life is a short trip. The music's full of sad, man. Forever young. That's just to remind you, man, life is short. Go out, have a blast. I love you guys. See you next time.